Now Larry Merchant will go across the ring and try to get a word with Asim Rahman as we take an aerial look at the Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino where in the event center Lennox Lewis has regained his heavyweight crown and now let's go to Larry Merchant with the now former heavyweight champ Asim Rahman. Th thank you again Jim. Asim, you said that you thought he would try to fight you in some different way tonight. What was that way from your perspective? Well, I thought he was attacking more early than last time and uh, provided me plenty of opportunities to counter him with my own right hand. But I thought he kept his distance good today. But uh, basically, the whole situation is it ain't no dominant champions out here today. Uh, Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, Hassan Rock, Levander Holyfield, John Rudy, any of us could get beaten on any given day. As we keep showing you, it's just a round robin, and it ain't no dominant champions out here. Uh, you know, I got to give him respect. He prepared well. Uh, he was in shape. He threw uh, a nice hard right hand. I didn't even see the punch coming. Uh, he threw it off the hook, blinded me with the hook, and threw the right hand. It was a good punch. Uh, I give him enough credit. He got the title. He's the champ. But uh, ain't nobody got no long title reign who I see. Was, was his left jab more uh, important in this fight than it was before? Because he seemed to be landing it with more authority, and you weren't landing yours. Yeah, I think... Uh, it was not only his jab, but his distance. He, he, he did a good job with his footwork and his distance. Uh, he stopped me from landing my jab really, really well. Uh, he was a, a, a lot more cautious. And uh, he, fought, he fought a good fight. He fought a good fight. He must study the taste pretty good. And uh, you can't take nothing away from him. But as uh, you know, uh, any of us get hit with a big right hand, it's a lot of punches at the top of this division. I just, it, just ain't, it ain't no heavyweight that's going to stand at the top like that right now. All right, let's take a look at what happened in the fourth round, Rock and see how that ended uh, in the round before you finished him in South Africa. He led with the hook, you know, turned my head with the hook, blinded me with the hook, and threw the straight, perfect right hand. Uh, you know, with these big, strong guys, lifting an enormous amount of weight, look at it, it was a good shot, you know, and uh, I wasn't able to recover. So, um, you know, that's what happens. Was that, did that bloody eye bother you at all? Oh, yeah, I mean, he cut my eye in the first round. It was dripping, but, you know, I had to go on. I ain't even really want to part it because, you know, notions to come up that I want to quit or this, that, and other. But I ain't no quitter. I mean, Lennox Lewis been knocked out in the amateurs and the pros. You know, that's just something that happened in boxing. Uh, some of my fighters get knocked out is how they come back. You know, he came back, showed he a true champion. Now it was up to me to come back and see what I can do. Do you think that all the taunting that you did so successfully against him before the fight helped him at the end of the day? I don't know. I think it was his preparation. The taunting, I don't think, had anything to do either way. He prepared proper. Uh, he had a good game plan. He kept his, uh, he kept my jab away, and he kept his distance. I thought he fought a, a very smart, very intelligent fight. And uh, I was, you know, hoping that I could get him into the later rounds where he could slow down a little bit. But, uh, you know, it didn't happen, unfortunately. And I just got to go back to the drawing board. I take it from your comments that you're going to keep on keeping on and you want more big fights as a heavyweight. Oh, definitely. I want to fight somebody, you know, who, who can fight, who, who I'm not supposed to be able to beat, as always. And uh, I think I got a few more surprises. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the Just court. one thing. Of all the gamblers in this town on this night, you took the biggest gamble of all by taking less money and, this, and taking your chance that the future would take care of itself. Do you regret that? Oh, not at all. Uh, who says I took less money? You know, my person.